flyer here for the grief, reco grief recovery uh, method outreach program that Harrison's Hope is putting on at the uh, Garden Plaza of Valley View. What's, what's this generally about? It looks like it's more than just like a support group, right? Yeah, and that's an important distinction. It is not a support group. Um, in a support group, what you're doing is you're going around and sharing feelings and sharing with each other, and that's an important thing to do, to have the ability to share how you feel about something with others. Mm -hmm. But this is more action-oriented. This is oriented towards a specific outcome, and there are steps that people take in grief recovery to reach a point where the, the goal here is um, that you experience grief in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. What's not healthy about grief is, is having a lot of pain around that grief, a, a lot of pain that gets in the way from healing, gets in the way of healing. So unlike a support group, we're not here to just share our feelings. We're actually in a group going to go through some very specific steps. And we're going to have people do exercises at home, do some writing that they bring back into the group, um, all with that goal of helping to make the pain of the loss go away, not to eliminate the grief, not to eliminate the sadness or the emotions that you have around it, but to get the pain out of the picture so that you're able to move through grief in a healthier way. So, Ollie, uh, being a you know social worker and dealing with grief and bereavement a lot, um, I know there's a lot of myths about grieving. People think, mm -hmm. if I just wait long enough, time heals all wounds. Uh, a lot of people bury their feelings, you know, deep down inside and then kind of on the other end, sometimes we see people, just me observing, a non-clinical person, people try to like be strong for others and if I'm just going to get through it and what are some of the dangers or consequences? Uh, you know that go along with some of those things or yeah if you want to speak to those myths a little bit about grief well that is true that um, and it, it, we see it more thinking bigger for a minute and we see it more in Western society because we're very focused as a society on um, just get over it and move on hmm. go go to the next thing um, so when people are grieving and I work a lot with grieving people in my position at Harrison so I often hear things like well, you know, I just need to get on with my life. So it's like putting a, a band-aid on something that's much, much bigger than you, or putting a finger in the dike and hoping that the water doesn't flow over the, the dam. Mm -hmm. It works for a little while. It makes you feel better in the short term to just move on. But it always comes back. Mm -hmm. Because grief doesn't just disappear because you will it to. Mm -hmm. And some of the long-term consequences of not dealing with your grief directly are physical illness. It's not unusual for people who've had experienced a major loss to become physically ill, mm -hmm. to have well, to see their health decline, um, to lose relationships because the grief gets in the way of maintaining healthy relationships. <clears throat> okay, that makes sense. And so, as opposed to passing around Kleenex and everyone just kind of talking, we're saying. We're here and we're going to get through this, not, yeah. not get over it, but get through it and help people kind of move on. Yeah. And is it, okay, and is it for, not just for death, right? Is it just any kind of grief? Any kind of loss. Any kind of loss. It could be okay. loss of a job, it could be loss of your favorite pet, hmm. it could be um, your close friend moved away and, they, and you're kind of grieving that, that your best friend's no longer around. Hmm. Yeah, so it's any kind of loss. Okay, and it's an eight-week program. Um, cost is fourteen dollars just for the book. Mm -hmm. And then, how do people, how do people sign up? You call Harrison's Hope Hospice. Okay, call yeah. Harrison's Hope Hospice, and you're. Uh, says you are a certified grief recovery specialist. So that's. Is anyone else doing this in the valley, in the Treasure Valley? Not at the present time. I'm the only one in the Treasure Valley. There's some other people in Idaho, but. Uh -huh in the Treasure Valley. Currently, I'm the only one doing it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs>